In this exercise, we are once again going to be using the Sample MEP project located in your Common folder. From the Startup screen, click on Open, browse to your Common folder, and open the Sample MEP project. We've already seen that in order to use spaces, we need to select the model and make sure that the room bounding constraints are checked. In this exercise we're going to start adding spaces prior to performing any building analysis. From the project browser, scroll down to the section Mechanical, HVAC Analysis and open up Level 1 HVAC Spaces. In this view we're going to place spaces that correspond initially to the architectural rooms. Go to the Analyze tab and click on Space. This is where I'm going to keep an eye on what's going on on the Options bar. We're currently working on Level 1, so my upper limit wants to be Level 2 with a zero offset, and we're creating new spaces. At this point, I'm not really interested in tagging, so I'll remove the tag on placement. And rather than going round and placing each space individually, from the contextual panel, I'll click on Place Spaces Automatically. This gives me a message that 34 spaces have been created. I'm going to go back to the project browser, open up level 2, and repeat that process. Click on Space. Check my offsets and place spaces automatically. Level 2 creates 39 spaces and I'll repeat that also for level 3. Click on space, check my offsets and place the spaces automatically. Let's take a look at those spaces. If I scroll in, you can see that I can select one. It has offsets, properties, and its identity data includes a name and number. I could go through this plan and rename and number all the spaces. Equally, I could do this in a schedule. Alternatively, and if I'm an Autodesk subscription customer, I can load the add-in called Space Naming Utility. I can run this utility to coordinate the names and numbers from all levels for my spaces. If I click on OK, we may get a warning message, which I'm going to ignore for now. If I come back up to that space and look at its identity data again, you can see that we have the number and name now corresponds to the room number and name. 